A crystal ball tells it all. What's cracking, Power Director Peeps? It's Saturday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the crystal ball effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The crystal ball effect lets you take multiple clips and blend them together to create a cool overlay effect that looks like your viewers are seeing something in a crystal ball. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the crystal ball effect for your videos. Let's gaze into the computer screen and see what wonders await us. As you can see, I got some clips up here in the timeline. This clip here is a marble on a train platform. You can see it's just some people, the reflection of the train, the people walking, all that good stuff. So I want to take that clip and make it appear to be a crystal ball. So the first thing I'm going to do is left click on this, hold down my left mouse and drag this down into track one. Now this clip is a little long, so I'm going to make a few adjustments to it. I'm going to go ahead and trim the front of it and trim the end of it. Now, if you don't know how to trim, all you got to do is place your cursor on the front or the end until you see two arrows pointed in the opposite direction. Hold on your left mouse and then drag it in. Left, right, based on whatever you're trying to do. And that's good there. So I want to move this clip up to the front. So I'm just going to right click on track one. And I'm going to go to remove and move clips on the same track. And it'll move that forward. And I want to move my playhead back to the beginning. So I'm going to press the home key on my keyboard and it moves my playhead to the beginning. Now the next clip I want to bring in is some traffic. So I want to blend this into that clip to make it look like the traffic or the time lapse of the traffic is going on in the crystal ball. So this is what we'll be looking at. Basically a time lapse, people moving, you see the time changing from day to night, all the cars going by. That's what we want in track two. So. Let's go ahead and left click, hold down our left mouse and drag this into track two. And now we want to go ahead and bring this down to size so that it fits in just the marble. So we're going to need to add a mask and we're going to need to resize it. So you want to left click on this clip. You want to go to designer and you want to go to mask designer. You want to make sure that you're on the mask tab and we want to go ahead and select the oval shape that's already feathered. So I'm going to left click on that. The clip that's on track one is coming through, which is the marble on the uh, train platform, but we still see the area that's math right here of the clip of the traffic. So what we want to do is size this up to make it fit just over the marble. So I'm going to scroll down here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck maintain mask aspect ratio. And now I can place my cursor over the video clip or over the bounding box and I can hold down my left mouse and move the mask where I want to move it. So I can move it directly over the marble and then I can grab these nodes and I can resize this to fit top, bottom, right over the marble. Now I already know exactly what parameters I want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and type those in. Your parameters are going to be different. You may need to just resize things. So take that into account as you work through this. This looks really good here. I got the video of the time lapse of the cars right in the center of the marble. So I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And so if we play this back, it just kind of looks like, you know, we got the scene going on there. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice. But I want to add a blend mode to this just so that I can get some of the picture of the train and the people walking coming through as well as the traffic. So I want to kind of blend those two together. So I'm going to right click on the clip of the traffic. I'm going to go to set clip attributes. And I'm going to go to set blending mode. And here I'm going to select darken. And so now you can actually see some of the other clip coming through.
you can see the train here on the side. Basically, now we got it blended like I like it. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a little bit of haze, some smoke and some mystery to my crystal ball because I want my crystal ball to be smoking. So I have a clip of some smoke here. Just some smoke going up the screen. Nothing more than that. I'm going to left click on it, drag it down to track three. I'm going to place my cursor at the end until I see the two arrows pointed in opposite directions. I'm going to hold on my left mouse. And I'm going to trim this down to the same size as the other two clips. And here I'm going to go ahead and apply the exact same mask attributes as I did to the first clip. So if you don't know what those mask attributes are, you can just click on the clip, go to designer, mask designer, and you can say, okay, so what are my X, my Y, my width and my height. And then you can just write those down or whatever and come to the clip of the smoke, go to designer, go to mask designer, make sure that you select the mask with the oval and the feathering and make sure that you uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And then you can type in the same attributes that you had from the clip of the time lapse. Once you get all your attributes typed in, you can click on OK. And if we play this back, we can see the smoke, but now we can't really see the cars underneath it. So we need to go ahead and apply another blend mode to the smoke clip. So we'll right click on that clip, go to set clip attributes, set blending mode. And this time we're going to select lighten. Now you can see the smoke and you can see the cars. You can see the train platform. You can see the train. You can see everything now. Now the smoke might be a little too heavy. So if you want to, you can go ahead and use opacity to make the smoke lighter. So what you can do is you can left click on the clip of the smoke. When you see the green line, Place your cursor over it until you see a line with two arrows pointed up and down. Hold down your left mouse and you can drag this line until it gets to the opacity setting that you like. I'm going to leave mine on 45. And then if we go ahead and play this back, we should see a wonderific crystal ball. And that's how you make the crystal ball effect inside Billy Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you decide that you like Power Director and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'll leave some links for all of that in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.